Hello, this is William Cooper. Welcome to Awakening Together, Relaxing into Happiness. Today, let's talk about trust. And to talk about trust, we really have to talk about oneness. We are one with everything. We are. It's only because society or our own actions or our upbringing, or if you want to talk about past lives, somewhere in that process, we separated from ourselves. Maybe we hypnotized ourselves or we became very emotional. Uh, maybe we got attached to other things. Maybe trauma shocked us out of our natural connection with ourselves. Could be many things or a combination of things, but one way or the other, we became separated from ourselves. And in that separation, we formed hurt, fear, and anger. That's what happens when you're separated from anything you care about, hurt, fear, and anger. This hurt, fear, and anger has a tension within it, and that tension blocks us from who we are. And what are we? We're oneness. We're happiness. We're peace. We're the universe itself and beyond. We are one, which by definition means our personal self is dissolves. It's simply a grouping of thoughts and feelings that help us navigate through life. But it's more of a delusion rather than a actual reality. We're far beyond that. We are love itself. We are joy. We are infinite knowing. We are infinite connection. We are infinite life. We are well beyond the little tiny bit we call personality. Yet we need something some operating system to walk down the street, so we develop a personality. Well, when we're separated from ourselves, how do we trust? How do we trust ourselves? We, we're not even in touch with ourselves. And when we get off track, when we get separated, we go into our head and we start fantasizing different thoughts, different emotions, different realities, different scenarios. We make little movies. Thoughts, after all, and we've talked about it before, are hallucinations. They're things we make up. We make up our own personality. We make up um, our worlds. So where we live in our fantasy head, and it seems very real to us, is totally separate often from really who we are. We are one with all things. If we let all of our boundaries drop away, all of our tensions drop away, we would melt away. And what would we melt away into? We would melt into nature, the world. Everything around us is a vibrating, glowing form of energy. And we would melt into that oneness with all things. Just like Jesus said, the Father and I are one. He melted away into the Father. All religions point in that direction. But they don't always describe it well. The better way to describe it is to listen to your own reality. After all, don't we spend a lifetime looking for ways to melt into the oneness which we are? Oneness is happiness because that is the nature of being. And that's something else we've talked about in podcasts before. We melt into happiness. We look for a job to get enough money so that we can relax at home and have a nice home to relax into. Have a nice family if we want one to relax into. Why do we want to relax into these things? So that we can be happy. We go on a vacation so that we can relax. Why do we want to relax? To be happy. Relax into nature. To be happy. Fall in love. 
let go. All the boundaries, our boundaries holding us in, start to relax, release, and let go into love, happiness, and joy. So we spend a lifetime wanting to be one. That's pretty much informs every action that we take, every thought that we take. We ruminate over what happened during the day. Why? So that we can work it out. Why? So that we come up with a solution so that finally we can relax. It's okay so that we can melt into happiness. To the degree that we let go, we melt into who we are, always. We melt into oneness. We always are oneness. We always are beingness. Even if our tensions block us from ourselves and we don't always feel the happiness of ourselves, we are that happiness all the time. So as we melt into this happiness, as our tensions melt away and we disappear, because anything when it relaxes disappears, our thoughts when they relax, they disappear our emotions, when they relax, they disappear. Our muscles, when they relax, that tension disappears. There's nothing left to manage because it's gone. It disappears, which only leaves oneness. In that oneness, when we disappear into it, there's complete happiness, complete love, complete peace, because that's what oneness is is made of. And in that depth, in that oneness, there's complete trust. And in that trust, complete letting go. Why complete trust? Because in oneness, you are everything. Everything is you. And you trust yourself. Intuitively, when you're free and flowing and free from tensions and crazy stuff in your head, you are completely trusting. All your problems have relaxed out and let go. They no longer exist in your head. So you trust. When problems are gone, all that's left is trust because oneness is trust. And in that deep trust, there's nothing you have to do in the universe because you are the universe and you support yourself. You don't have to figure out what to do next. The universe supports you. That's in complete trust. In complete oneness, everything solves itself. Now, most of us are not in complete oneness right this moment. So... We're somewhere in between. Often, we're actually quite separate. And we need to reestablish that oneness. So from the perspective of separation, there's an old saying, which is, nobody becomes an astronaut by sitting on the couch simply praying. Because in separation, we are not flowing. We are not one. And in a future podcast, I'm going to talk about different ways to manifest. And it's an energy thing, so it's not quite as crazy as it might sound on the surface. <laughs> but let me explain another time. It's going to take a, a moment. For now, though, let's assume that we're feeling very separate. And from that separate position, we all want to melt into love. We all want to melt into happiness. We all want to awaken, which is oneness. So we want to dissolve our separation. And in our past podcasts, we have talked about a lot of ways to do that. In this podcast, in conjunction with the topic of trust, let's look at some ways that we can dissolve our false perceived separations so that we can feel one again with the universe. Oneness is trust. Um, so the very first thing is reestablish your connection. Connect to everything around you. Feel free to connect to everything because in reality, 
you are connected to everything. Even if internally, emotionally, you've been burying your head in the sand because you feel overwhelmed, often we stop ourselves from connecting because we feel that if we do connect to something around us, we'll have to know what to do with that thing that we just now connected to. For example, let's say we connected to famine. We go overseas, I go to India, I see people starving, and I connect to them. Well, now I'm overwhelmed and I can't handle it. And there's one person after another, after another, after another, and I just can't handle it. So I don't connect because I think if I connect, I've got to do something and I don't know what to do. We do this in all parts of our lives everywhere. We disconnect ourselves because of our own pain and our own misperception that we have to know what to do if we do connect. But because we don't connect, guess what? We're cut off from ourselves. It's not only that we're cutting ourselves off from the world, but we are the world. We're cutting ourselves off from ourselves. We're cutting ourselves off from oneness. We're cutting ourselves off from trust, happiness, and well-being. If we're cut off in one part of our life, it ripples through all parts of our life. You can't just be kind of partly one and partly not one. We are one. Whether we're cringing under the bed in fear or not, we are one. It's the cringing that doesn't allow us to feel our oneness, to enjoy our oneness. So what to do? Because connecting can be overwhelming. The first thing is connect. Don't feel that you have to know what to do or do anything. Just connect. Because we're taking baby steps, wouldn't it be okay just to connect to everything and leave it alone from there? Just don't do anything. Just connect and trust that that's enough. Trust that there is a divine flow or a universal flow that's moving through you simply in the connection that's helping things. That's so far beyond your small mind and my small mind that it knows what to do. It has universal capacity to know what to do. Let me tell you a small story. Ramana was a very enlightened saint in South India. He lived in the state of Tamil Nadu in the village of Taravanamalai. I've been there many times. He died in the 1950s. Somebody came up to him and said, Ramana, you're so powerful. And there's so many problems in the world. Why don't you lead a social movement and lead us to solve some of these problems out in the world? People starving, there's World War II, there's all sorts of huge problems. And Ramana paused and looked at the man. And he said, if your heart leads you to take social action, you should follow your heart and take social action. It's a good thing to do. But I'm led to meditate. I'm led to simply be, to be and radiate. That's what I do. And in my being, I'll change more in the world than all of the social action put together. The power of the universe the power of oneness. Jesus, the Father, and I are one, and he changed the world. Buddha changed the world. Oneness. To the degree that we are one, that clarity moves and changes the world. The universe knows what to do. So trust it. Because you can trust the universe, you can connect. And in that connection, the universe flows. So when I go to India and I see poverty, I connect. And miracles happen. 
Sometimes I'm led through my intuition to take specific actions. Other times things just happen. Other times I don't have any awareness of what happens, but I trust that something does happen. Oneness. So because we're trusting and intuitively listen to yourself, your being, feel it. It's trustworthy. It emanates trust. Oneness emanates trust. You can feel it. So let it flow. And that releases your mind from having to know what to do so that you can reconnect to everything again and fall into oneness. As you reconnect, you may start to feel a tingling, an unwinding, a melting over time. Sometimes in the connection, there's a tremendous release of all of the blockages and separation, the hurt, fear, and anger in your life. And sometimes that energy can be so overwhelming that you have to really take baby steps because the power of the universe coming through your nervous system might take some time to adjust to. So be easy on yourself. Other times it may be a very gentle process, a very easy process. You're becoming congruent. You always are one, whether you feel it or not. Now you're admitting it and letting it happen. And you're reestablishing connections all around you. And in those connections, you're reestablishing trust. And that trust can now grow and flow into your relationships, in your place in the world, and all the different parts of your life because you are trust. So as you reestablish connection in the world around you, doesn't it remind you of what's going on in the world inside of you? Especially when you sit down quietly and meditate. Because that which is watching your awareness connects to everything that's going on inside of you. It doesn't hold it. It doesn't become captured by it. But it connects to it. It connects to thoughts, emotions, everything that's going on, sounds, feelings. It's aware of it and it can connect. And in that connection, those things, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, they can breathe in that connection. They can breathe in the warmth of your awareness, your love. And they can melt. They can relax. Just like the world around you melts and relaxes into your connection. Just as social issues relax and melt into your connection just as all things relax and melt in to your connection. It's all the same. The external reflects the internal, and therefore deep trust, deep melting. We started the podcast by talking about how good it feels to relax, to melt into a loving relationship, to melt into a safe home, to melt into a wonderful vacation and enjoy a beautiful walk on the beach to relax into beautiful art and music. It's all a process of melting. And in that melting is deep trust, is deep oneness, is deep happiness. I've enjoyed talking with you and many of the things that we talk about, I realize for many of you, these are things you know so well. But if you're new to this and you haven't listened to my other podcasts, although each of these podcasts is independent and rests upon itself, they also build on one another and there's a progression. So you might want to start with podcast one and move, move forward as you listen to these. Also, for further support, I have a website, www.williamecooper.wordpress.com. Lots of writings and resources 
for you there to support these podcasts. Okay, I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye. Hello, this is William. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please consider sharing it with somebody else. Send them a link. Thanks so much.